Hello, all, and welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of quarantine. Now, we've all been it, been in this together. Uh, we've been staying at home um, with our families or without for the past four months. I know that it's been hard. So, what we're going to talk about today is what quarantine has taught me we're going to start with the cons first because i like to leave out on a positive note our first con is the boredom nothing to do when you're required to stay at home for your own safety which means that you have to try to entertain yourself and there are multiple ways of doing that, but when you exhaust all those ways, you end up bored. And like I say, busy hands make no mischief, so what do still hands do? You can't escape your house. You can't go anywhere, so you have to stay at home. I don't think people really thought about this before it happened. Um, people were usually either in school or at work or they had something to do. People didn't understand what that meant to stay at home, but when the quarantine hit, yeah, that was like a crash course. And especially if you're living with family. Now, since you're staying at home, your social life suffers. You can't go out. You can't have fun with your friends. You can't interact with your friends unless it's with video chat. And let me tell you, in person and video chat, if you don't already know, there are two so totally different things. We're social creatures and we crave that in-person type of interaction. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the, the vicinity of them or maybe like the skin on skin contact or just the knowledge that they're just a arm's reach away. Yeah, that does not happen if you're in quarantine. And then I don't think people really seen that but or considered that. But that's what I found out. Also, since you're in quarantine, you're by yourself. As I said before, there's no social interaction, which can lead to anxiety, depression, and a whole bunch of other mental problems that you may need help with. I saw a commercial that said, Quarantine is tough. And we know that. If you would like to talk about the issues that you're having right now, call our hotline. We're there for you. I don't know exactly what company it was, but if they had made a commercial about it and they aired it, uh, apparently it's an issue. The other issue is being active. And then also staying fit. <laughs> Now, people are used to going to the gym and exercising, and yet you can't do that at home. You can't do it to the extent of going to the gym or playing sports, which is also another social interaction. So, you have to find other ways. If you have to work from home, there's no social interactions with your colleagues. Now, I'm pretty sure you build relationships, whether you're in school or w whether you're at work, and those kind of... uh relationships most likely get you through the day and you can't have that if you're working from home or if you're you know not going to school well on, on the darker side the uncertainty of a job now when you're told to go home and work from home you're not sure if they're going to bring you back into the office when everything starts up again and that uncertainty can also lead to stress and anxiety and let me tell you it all coincides so that's what i have for the cons here come the pros you learn more about your family this is also a con okay if you're living at home with your family during the quarantine, you have to interact with them 
24 7. And you have to see their faces. All the time. Versus the 18 hours a day that you may have to see their faces because you're working or you're active. You have things outside the home that you do. And let me tell you, um, it's not all peaches and cream. Okay, you learn more things about your family that you probably didn't know or you probably did know and you didn't really understand until you encounter it all the time. You know their pet peeves, you know what kind of person they are, what kind of character traits they have, how clean they are, what kind of social life they have because you can hear them on the phone. It's a lot. And it's all because of quarantine. Another positive is that you're free to do whatever. <laughs> Those things that you have been putting off because you had to work or you had to go to school and you didn't have enough time at home because you were sleeping whenever you were at home and then you were out doing things that you needed to do. Now you have the time. You have the time to rediscover yourself, to um, work on yourself to educate yourself on things that you wanted to learn. You can do it now. Um, you can also be creative and, and find a hobby that you really like to do and help pass the time. It's quarantine gave us that. Um, you can also catch up on movies and TV shows that you've been wanting to watch and you never had the time to, and you can do that now and just spend hours vegging out in front of the TV. <laughs> it sounds awesome. You can eat more, which is also a con if you think about it that way. Less access to the grocery store, but you can actually start rebuilding your metabolism. Um, pretty sure when you're active, you're either hopped up on coffee or sugar or something to keep you going throughout the day. And now, what you can do is you can actually start eating healthy. You can start with a full breakfast in the morning and lunch and dinner and get all those meals in and maybe snacks on the side as well. Or you can overeat because of boredom. That's the con. You can work from home. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. That's kind of what I talked about in the cons, but yeah, working from home is another way of doing it. Um, and then if you're in school, you can do online classes, which is also an option as well. And people really deterred away from that. Uh, I know I did when I was in college and I really craved the in-person class, uh, you know, the whole surrounding of the, the chalkboard and, and the teacher and raising the hand and asking questions. But, uh, I mean, what can you do? When your options are limited, you can only do certain things. So yeah, you can work from home and do online classes and see how you fare with those. Um, and then also build your technical skills too. This was required and now you've learned it. So you learned something new, which leads to my last one. You're learning something new. You're always learning when you when in life period but certain circumstances push you along to learn something that you didn't know that you needed to learn or that you wanted to learn and you did it anyway great it's a great thing that's what i have so far for pros and cons of quarantine and if you like this video please push that like button down at the bottom and i wish you all the best until we're through this, we're together. All right, toot to you.